okay so hi loves welcome back to my channel and today i will be talking to you about how to get store ready in terms of this is part two in terms of getting your products in stores so if you want to see how i got my products in stores then ensure that you like share and subscribe and ensure to continue watching <laughs> guys so basically you have to have a brand presence so number one brand presence so just like how i have on my katie pink's design shirt i have on my katie pink's headband you can definitely know that you know so she's the owner katie pink's just when just by me wearing this headband and i enter a store people are like oh she sells headbands even having on this this branded shirt just seeing the girl with the headband they know that oh she sells headbands so having your brand presence you need to be very strong so when they enter into the store you say hi good day um is there somebody i could speak to about introducing my products and then somebody say hey her name is xyz say her name is sasha then she says sasha is over there didn't go over you say hi good day i'm from Katie Pink's designs and I am selling satin bonnets and headbands. Do you think your store would be interested in carrying these? And then they'll say, not no, or some person just say, can I see a sample? Make sure you have your samples on you. So you can take to the bag and say, hey, here are the samples, such and such. If they say, I don't think a lot of persons would be interested in say, you know, we have a 30 days consignment. <laughs> That's the trick, you're telling me you have a 30 days consignment. If the products are not doing well, you'll be willing to take it back because you wouldn't want to have your products in a store that is not doing well. Sometimes what I do is go in the store, I look around, and if I don't see them have any headbands or anything like that, I would say to the clerk and say, hey, you guys sell headbands or do you have any headbands? Or sat in a and they say, no, you know, um, we don't have any right now or those products don't really do well here. And I say, no, I make satin bonnets and headbands, headbands like this one that I'm wearing. And then the person be like, oh, that's nice. How much do you retail them for? And that's how you get the conversation going. So you have to have a strong brand presence. And that's basically it. You have to be willing to talk to persons. Some persons are going to say no, some persons are going to say yes. So for example, the stores that I shop in a lot, I ensure that I go and say, hey, you know, I'm the owner of Katie Pink's Designs and these are the products I sell. Do you think you'd be interested in carrying some of the products? And guess what? A lot of persons like to see when you support them, they support you back. So that's another tip. So if it's somewhere that you shop in a lot, then definitely give it a try. Here's a story for you. So I remember going into Fantana. And if you follow me, you know that I love Fantana. So I usually buy a lot of stuff at Fantana. And I noticed that they had a lot of hair accessories, headbands, satin bonnets and stuff like that. And it was from another brand. And I was like, mm, I don't think they'd be interested in taking my products. And you know, one day, I said to somebody, hey, um, do you think Fontana would be interested in taking my headbands? I noticed that you guys have a wide variety of headbands already. And the lady was like, yeah, man, you can definitely go and show them. And you know, when I showed the person, they were like, they like it and they'll try 12. And that's how it started. They started trying 12 till it reached 24, till they start increasing. And if I hadn't taken that chance, I wouldn't have gotten my products into Fontana. So sometimes you need to take a risk. Stop doubting yourself and lift your head up. Because not because a store has a lot of garlic soap means that they, they won't be interested in taking your garlic soap. So that's a tip for you guys. So thanks again for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, ensure to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. So bye loves, until next time. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best.